This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. How the devil are you? We are currently in Tilbury and um, we are, well, we're in Grays. Is it Grays? Yeah, it's Grays. <laughs> and we're just about, in the next mile or so, to enter Tilbury Docks. We've got um, a little bit of multi-drop delivery to do today. Something I don't normally do, the old multi-drop. Normally we get loaded and it's like a full trailer's worth for one place. Sometimes two, but normally it's one. Well, in this case, we've got three drops, maybe four. And the reason I'm not sure if it's four or not is because we got, well, we've got one in Bridge North, which is near Telford. We've got 18 packs to come off at Bridge North. Then we've got eight packs to come off in Telford, which is just up the road. And then we've got um, one pack for Colwyn Bay and then nine packs for Colwyn Bay. Now, one of two things are going to be the case. It's either two separate companies in Colwyn Bay or it's the same company, um, same delivery point, but they just added something on extra to the invoice, but it's under a different order number. It's more than likely, if I were to guess, it's more than likely going to be the same company, just two different order numbers. That's my guess, but it could be four. It could be four, but I think it's gonna be three. <laughs> and then uh, with regards to what exactly we are actually gonna get done today, um, well, I mean, it's 9 a.m. in the morning, obviously that's what a.m. means, it's 9 a.m. We're just about to enter Tilbury Docks. We probably won't be out of here until eight o'clock. We're more than likely get um, up to Telford. We get Bridge North and Telford done, no problem at all. And then we'll make our way to Colwyn Bay. Whether we get the Colwyn Bay off or not today is a different matter. It could be a job for the morning. We're gonna try and get it off today. Um, I did have a quick look last night. There's a who, who's gray in Colwyn Bay. And it looks like I could park up there for the night as well. So if we don't actually get it off, we should be able to park up there for the night, but that's, that's, uh, that's, we'll worry about that later on. <laughs> we're definitely going to get to Colwyn Bay, I think, as long as we don't get hold up anywhere in traffic. But first thing we've got to do is go and get the stuff loaded. We are completely empty. We're just done delivery into Thamesmead. Um, so yeah, we've now got to get loaded once we can get into the docks. And you're turning left, but you should be going into the car bit so we can go as well. Lovely jubbly. I've never, I've never ever been stopped coming into Tilbury Docks, but every now and then I do see trucks get stopped. I'm assuming, I've got a flatbed on so they can see there's nothing in it. So I'm assuming that could be part of the case. I would have thought, I would have thought. Um, so we used to do a lot of forest product stuff. I believe now that's the main place for forest products, which is cool because it used to be, I'll flash it, it used to be over that way behind me a bit more. I think that's forest products now. Right, we've got to go to berth 46A. Once we are load, uh, sorry, once we got our paperwork in 46A, we then got to come back to berth 44. Now berth 44 is here on the left. And uh, well, you can see all the pavestone on the left. Look, so that's the stuff we're going to be getting loaded with all this pavestone here. Um, it doesn't look like there's anybody in there currently being loaded either, so we should be the only one in there once we get our paperwork. But we've got to go past 44 for now and go to 46A. If the weather wasn't raining, if it was dry and sunny out, I would probably get the truck washed. But um, yeah, there's no point. <laughs> Absolutely no point, is there? We just park up here. TLT, yeah, Tilbury Logistics Terminal. Park up here. Well, that bloke looked familiar then, I thought I recognised him. He's not wearing high-vis though. High-vis on, I think. Right, let's go grab our paperwork and then um, I'll see you in a minute, in a bit. Right, it's got the paperwork, by the way. There's the truck. Wheels need to clean. Um, it is three drops, it is uh, two different drops for um, the same company. So we now need to turn around and get to berth 44. Well, I'm just putting the furthest one into the sat nav. Uh, I think it was around here when I checked. 
put the furthest one into sat now just to see what time it does say would be there uh, to give us an idea as to whether or not we will actually make it or not. Um, I don't think we're going to get it off. Yeah, I mean, it's 20, 20 past two. Plus, we've got to do two deliveries in between and get loaded. I think it'd be, I think it'd be gone four o'clock before we get there. That's for sure. But we will try. We will definitely try. I don't know. It might actually be later than that. Because if we left now, we'd be getting there at one o'clock. We need to get a break in. We need to get loaded. So it's probably going to be after two o'clock before we get to the first delivery. And I think it was 18 packs off. So we'll probably be there for half an hour, assuming we're straight in and straight out. Half past two. Then in half an hour away to the second store, three o'clock. So we're probably not going to arrive until... We're probably not going to arrive at the second store until between three o'clock and four o'clock, at a guess. And then we've got to drive to Conway Bay. So, yeah. I don't think it's coming off today, the Conway Bay, but we will get up there so we can get it off first thing in the morning. But we're going to... We're going to crack on. We're going to do what we can do. Get things done as quickly as we can because that's, that's the way I roll. I don't like sitting around. I don't like wasting time. I want to get on, get things done. Go on, let's strap up. Right, we are getting there. Started to get loaded. Uh, the Conwin job is now on. Uh, paperwork says there should be 10 pallets. There's actually only nine pallets. And one of the rows is triple, um, triple laid down, if you like. So uh, for the first, uh, sorry, for the final drop in Colwyn, which I do believe is gonna be in the morning, it's just that one, four rows on. That's all we take it. Uh, for the middle drop, which is gonna be Talford, it's gonna be another four rows. That's the first row. Two, three, four. So that would end there. And then we should have 18 pallets from pretty much there all the way to the back end. I would imagine some of them are gonna to have to be double stacked. Brilliant, thank you. All right, cheers mate. Yeah, cheers buddy. That took a little bit longer than it should have done, reloaded. Um, we've, been here, we've been here a little while. I've actually had a break on site because there was some missing stock and uh, well, they had to go and find it. So we had a break. We've just managed to get it all strapped up now. I'll show you what actually. Okay, so that's the third drop. Those four there. And then second drop, those three there and this one here and then the first drop is the rest of it so first all of this second is there to there and then the final drop those ones so yeah so we're going to jump back in the truck and uh, get on out of the docks get on out of the docks and uh, make our way to our first destination <laughs> that's annoying. Hang on, is he going to do it? Yeah. So we've been sat here so long that the sat nav cleared the route, uh, but it's just come back. Right. Telford. Colwyn Ray. Colwyn Ray. Bridge North. <laughs> so inspired me. Um, need our paperwork. This is our police pass. This is what enables us to get back out. I've once, they once put the wrong registration number on. They refused to let me out. I had to go back and tell them that they put the wrong registration on. All they did was cross it out, put my correct registration on, told me to go back and then they let me out. I was like, could I not have just done that here at the gates? <laughs> Hello mate, you right? Cheers mate. And we are free. Free to get out of the docks. Let's watch where this lorry is going. Should stick to the lane too, but you never know. We're out of here, we're out of here. So like I said, it's three and a half hour drive, just over three and a half hour drive to our first delivery point. We're probably gonna stop somewhere on the way, maybe get half an hour break in. We should be there before half past two, I would have thought. Um, 
leave there hopefully by half past oh I can see how I get on for time but there is a chance I might not even get the second one off hopefully we can get the second one off so it's actually questionable now I'm just thinking in my head it's questionable whether or not we get the second delivery off which is Telford which is uh, well we can only do what we can do doesn't that when we were there for so long does it we shall do what we can do. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you in a little while. See you in a bit. Right, we are just around the corner from where we need to be in Bridge North. And we are well against it for time. Well against it. It should have only have taken three hours, 30 minutes to get up here. Three and a half hours. We're currently on four hours and ten minutes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Admittedly, we are only just around the corner, so we are going to make it. But we are definitely not going to make the second delivery without having a 45 minute break. We have to stop for a break, which could be an issue because by the time we actually get here, um, make sure the bus got enough room. By the time we actually get in here, it's going to be more like quarter to three. Then we need a 45 minute break. So half past three, yeah, half past three at the earliest. <laughs> And then it's half an hour to get there, so that's four o'clock. So at the absolute, absolute very earliest, we are gonna be at the second delivery point for four o'clock. Now, a lot of people know four o'clock is the cutoff. So we are really up against it for time. I'm hoping that I can get into this place, uh, take all my straps off, and then have a 15 minute break whilst they're offloading me. I'm hoping I can do that. Then, uh, just outside of the place, I've had a look, and um, there's a shell garage, so I'm hoping I can have half an hour break just outside the shell garage. Hopefully the road is quiet enough and I can do that. And then we'll see what the time is. Um, yeah, we'll crack on there anyway, we'll, we'll give them a call. If we can get there before four o'clock, I'll just turn up. If we're going to arrive just after four, then I'm going to have to phone them up and be like, hey, I've only got seven pallets. I do the old rigid driver trick, I've only got, I've only got a few pallets. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully then we can, uh, well, hopefully we can get tipped. If we get tipped, then we can make our way up to Conway, where I don't know where we're going to park yet, because I did think earlier we could park outside the site, um, but I've been told there's double red lines out there, so I won't be able to do that. So we'd have to stop somewhere else. I'm, I was thinking Chester, but we're across that bridge. We need to get the second one off first. <laughs> We might not even get the second one off. We might be parked up in Telford. Um, but yeah, let's get these 18 pallets off at Bridge North. Get our 45 minute break in. We've got to have a 45 minute break because we can't drive over four and a half hours driving. We're on four hours and 12 minutes currently and it's just going to go up and up and up. So we have to get a 45 minute break in. I'm hoping to get 15 in on site whilst being unloaded half an hour outside on the road. That's what I'm hoping. And then we can crack on. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But yeah, the traffic has just killed us. We got caught in a lot of traffic on the way up. We've lost a lot of time. It's not ideal, but you know, it is what it is. What can you do? Now we're de delivering to, I think it's TG, yeah, it's TG Builders. I can just see them over there. I can see the shell garage as well. So uh, we should be good. Okay, we're gonna indicate right here. That lorry, that's concerning. I think that lorry's going to TG Builders because there's nothing else down here, I don't think. Or is there? There's a Howden's. There is a Howden, so maybe, hopefully he's delivering there. Oh, clear, let's go. So yeah, hopefully we can come out of the Builders Merchants and we can just park up somewhere on this road for half an hour. We can also pop into the shop at the same time so we can kill two birds with one stone, which would be good. No overnight parking here. Uh, I'm gonna have to go speak to someone. Du -du 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 -du. All customers report to counter. I don't know where they want me. Don't know where they want me. Right, I'm gonna have to go and find someone. So I'll see you in a bit. It literally, as I turn the cameras off, literally as I turn the cameras off, someone said, "Pull straight forward." I'm gonna tip you in there. So that's where we are now. Let's get these uh, these 18 packs off. Now, I'm just undoing the straps, but uh, we just about made that out there. Go take a closer look at that in a minute. 
That looks like a quite an old truck, doesn't it? Right, straps are off, he's taking them off. Then how long is it gonna take? If we've got two forklifters on us, then our stay, if it's just the one I might I might move, but don't know yet. Right, yeah, another forklift is just uh, just joined the cause. I was gonna say, because we're so close to that shower garage, I was gonna go for a walk down there now, if it was just one, uh, but there's two. So I shall stay here and uh, wait for the tip But I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a 15 minute break in here because we've been on break now for nearly 10 minutes already. So yeah, I'm gonna go do some filming. Bit of me time. So yeah, I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. 1874. What a bit of kit that is. I like it when companies have got old, old bits of kit like this. That's great. This is the sort of stuff my granddad might have driven. <laughs> Maybe not quite this old. Back in my day, I used to have to rope and sheep this. <laughs> There you go, look, MMO296. Spare wheel under there, look. That's awesome. That is awesome. I don't know whether that's supposed to be on display, but uh, it's a nice touch. Very nice touch. Anyway, from traditional machinery to modern machinery, we're, uh, we're getting there few more pallets left to come off look and then we got that row that row that row and that row to go next and then the first four rows are for Conway in the morning it's going to be touch and go whether we get this Telford off hopefully they will because there's only seven lifts so fingers crossed right we are now outside the premises we did exactly what I said I was going to do so we had a 15 minute break inside whilst they were tipping me um, we were actually there for just over half an hour. So, um, yeah, 15 minutes was undoing all the straps. We had a 15 minute break. We now need a half an hour break outside on the road. So, uh, yeah, we're just parked here. As you can see, we've had a 15 minute break. We're on four hours and 16 minutes. So we can only drive another 14 minutes before we need a break. We're 28 minutes away. So we cannot get there without having a break. And if we leave there right now, we're gonna be there like 20 to four, plus we need to have half an hour break. So it's gonna be more like 10 past four when we arrive. Yeah, 10 past four. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna call them in a sec and be like, I'm gonna be there 10, just, just after four o'clock, five past four, something like that, 10 past four. And then so I've only got seven lifts, will you, will you tip me? Because I don't really wanna turn up and then tell them tell me I'm not going to get tipped. So let's give them a call. Good afternoon, you, Scruffy. Yeah, hi there, mate. Good afternoon. Um, I've got a delivery for you from uh, Pavestone. It's seven lifts, seven pallets. I'm going to be yep. I'm going to be there shortly after four o'clock. Would that be okay? It's going to be about five past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Five past ten past four. I should be there. Yeah. Okay. Then Lovely. Four. Thank you. Cheers, mate. All right. Cheers. Yeah, Thanks. Bye bye. Okay. Good. 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 Right. That have to stress about rushing to get there because they're yeah you seem pretty decent so so yeah we're gonna have our half an hour break um here on the road <laughs> and then um we'll make our way to there get those seven lifts off and then we're gonna head over to wherever we're gonna park up for the night which i believe i'm gonna park up in chester i believe yeah i think i'm gonna park up in chester right i'm gonna go to um shell get some supplies Right, we're just walking back to the truck now from Zishau Garage. I think we'll be, uh, we'll be here for another 15 minutes or so and then we can uh, crack on. Yeah, I got myself uh, some mouthwash, knickknacks for that little snack <laughs> and uh, some wet wipes. And then I saw in the corner of my eye in the Greg's shop and I was like, no, can't be having Greg's. But I saw a uh, tuna cucumber sandwich and I thought, you know what? I fancy a tuna cucumber sandwich. So that's what I'm gonna have before, uh, before I carry on driving. Okay, 30 minute break finished. Let's crack on. Also, tuna and cucumber sandwich, very nice.
So, um, yeah, so we're 27 minutes away is how far we are away from our second delivery. And the sat nav says we'll be there at 16.09. So, let's get our foot down. Let's get there as quickly as possible, safely as possible, but as quickly as possible. Get these seven pallets off and then, um, yeah, then we've done what we can achieve for today. Then we'll just go park up somewhere ready for the morning. That is the aim. Right. Let's crack on, see you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now Link is in the description down below. Okay, we're on the final approach now to the Telford store. There's been no weight limits down this road, but it's <laughs> it's getting a little bit, a little bit snug, a little bit narrow on some of the parts. But we should all right. And also, uh, I wonder what that was then. A bit of fluff. Uh, Sat nav says 16:06, so we have made up three minutes of driving time, which is pretty cool. We haven't been speeding, just. It's been no traffic, which has been quite nice. Lovely jubbly. Good way to the right. Yeah, look, it looks a bit narrow here, for example. Hmm. Just ever so slightly narrow on some of these, some of these bits of road. But they've whacked some chicanes in. But uh, yeah, we should be good. They said they're going to tip us. I said five past, ten past. And that is going to be exactly the ETA we turn up. Five past, ten past in between. Which is good. Okay, so we go down here and take a right-hand turn. And then I think we've got to go up some sort of lane. I think. Take a right here. Ah, yeah, this this is the lane, the Rookery Road. Who Gray, that's where we're going. Lovely. And then it's just on the left. Once you get past all these uh, bushes. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to angle it so I'm hitting the, the thinnest parts of the twigs. <laughs> I guess you could park here overnight, if you had to. I guess. This, blings, this rings a bell. I think I've been here. I've been here before, 100% I've been here before. Only once. But I have definitely been here before. I'm driving straight in. Beacon's on. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely been here before. Unload behind that lorry there, look. Spin round and uh, get unloaded there. Yeah. Yeah, I've delivered bolt bags here before. Oh, I think I actually, I might have been in there before, where this lorry is. But yeah, we're here, we're here, we're here. Let's get these straps off, won't take long. Like I said, it's only literally seven lifts, so we're not gonna be here for long. But thankfully, they're gonna take it off. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back in the truck. We've been stationary for four minutes, four minutes. Straps are off. I believe he's only got one more to take off that side. So, uh, yeah. We're really not going to be here very long at all. Right, let's put our destination in. So if you remember rightly earlier, I did it. Uh, it was the first thing I did to see how far away we were going to be. So this is where we want to go, Colwyn Bay. They're going to be open tomorrow at 7 a.m. Although I could do a call on them just to confirm. They didn't answer earlier. But yeah, if we go straight there from here, we'll be there at half past six. We're not going to go all the way there. Not tonight. Uh, there's... There's a place I park in Chester, just about here. 
and I'm wondering about parking out there for the night. You will arrive at your destination at 18.45. Okay, so it's 1.41 to Chester, so I'll be there just before six. And then, yeah, it's gonna be a... Yeah, then I'll be about 45 minutes away for the morning. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna head up to Chester, park there where I've parked before, and then wake up at 6 a.m., do my checks, get there 45 minutes later for 7 a.m. I think that's what I'm gonna do. At least then I'll be part, part up as well for about six o'clock. Start at six o'clock as well, so that'll be 12 hours off. Lovely jubbly. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna do. Right, you've just given me the paperwork. Before I forget, I just need to put all my paperwork together because I'm losing track. That's that needs to be done tomorrow. That needs to be done tomorrow. This is this week's. So we're going to put it in with this one. That needs to be turned around. And then the one we just done. That can go in as well. Right, we're tipped. Let's crack on. So like I showed you, we're probably going to park in Chester. Oh, we're going past Wrexham as well. Oh, do I just park it? See, now I might park in Wrexham because it's less off my route. Like I said, they didn't actually answer earlier. You okay. Ah, hi, mate. i got a delivery for you for tomorrow morning from Pavestow. I'm just wondering what time you take a delivery. Uh, from 7 onwards. 7 onwards. All right, thank you very much. Okay, cheers. Cheers, thanks. thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, which is which is what I thought, seven onwards. So, um, oh, choices, choices, choices. I might. Uh, we'll see what traffic's like. If traffic builds up, I don't want to be sat in traffic. That's the thing. So, if traffic builds up, we're parking Wrexham. If it doesn't build up, we're crack on to Chester. Because uh, when if I park up in Chester, I'm only forty five minutes away. Whereas if I park up at Wrexham, I'm just over an hour away. Um, I was going to say, if they don't take a delivery to half seven, then, you know, I, I can still get up at six, but I don't really like starting before six, <laughs> to be honest with you. Six o'clock is like a spot-on, spot-on time to start. I wasn't going to have to start at half past five, which, you know, if that has to be the case, that has to be the case. But I'll find out, I'll let you know where I'm going to park up tonight anyway. It depends, like I said, it depends, it depends entirely on how much traffic there is in front of me, because it's 20 past four now, my beacon's on. 20 past four so at some point you know traffic is going to build up and if it gets massively gridlocked at chester or towards that area then yeah i'm just i'm not interested in cracking on all the way there so we'll see oh there's a woman there watching hello <laughs> there's an elderly lady watching in the uh in the garage i just waved her right i'm gonna crack on i shall see you see you in a bit bye bye Okay, situation report. We are in Chester. Uh, we, I was contemplating stopping at Wrexham because there was a bit of traffic. Um, but it sort of cleared up a little bit. The original ETA was, I think, quarter to six or something. I can't remember. It's quarter past six. That's the time it is now. So, yeah, again, we have been held up in a little bit of traffic. But, uh, yeah, it's not an awful lot. Yeah. Just gonna park here like, on the left before the roundabout. This is actually exactly where I parked last time I was in. Past the junction, out the way. I actually use there's some red bifter bins over there. I use one of them bins. Yeah. And I might even walk to the BP garage and just double check it takes um trucks. Pretty sure it does. Pretty sure it does. But uh yeah, so we're on two hours and eighteen minutes of driving. That's how much we've done since we've done the delivery earlier in Telford um, yeah two hours and 18 minutes not too bad for the day we've done eight hours driving and according to the sat nav you can't park there mate can't park there mate can't, according to the sat nav we're 50 minutes away what are you going slow for he's touching the sat nav um, yeah according to the sat nav we are 50 minutes away yeah it looks like quite a big shop so Engine off, lights off, on rest. We're gonna go for a walk and go to the toilet because I need, I need to go to the toilet, I'm not gonna lie. 
Um, I haven't got a rain jacket. I've got an orange waterproof jacket, but I don't really want to wear orange jacket. So we're just going to take this. Do I want to take my skipping rope with me? Do some skipping. <laughs> I don't know. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we are going for a walk. Let's lock the truck. Did someone just toot me? No, there's a van. DPD van has just tooted. Why have you tooted? I don't know why he's tooted. Never mind. Yeah, so we're just gonna walk to the BP slash Burger King slash spa shop. Not buying anything. Just go for a walk and uh, and use the toilet facilities. Uh, shout out to that driver who just spotted me and just said, is there anywhere here to park? I said, yeah, just there on the left. So uh, I expect, I expect it to be parked up behind me. Shout out, whoever you are. I might speak to you later. Just pop into the garage. Anyway, can confirm, definitely fuel pumps. So that's good. Fill up in the morning. Hi mate, you all right? Yeah, you? Someone else just spotted me. <laughs> Okay, small problem. I've been in the toilet so long, the lights have turned off. I don't even know which way my camera is facing. Can I have some light? <laughs> so I should probably say, I uh, I have left it. I've gone for like a walk now. We're coming up to a kilometre. I oh, sorry, we've done over a kilometre. I say walk. It's like a, like a walk jog. Just extra, extra exercise, isn't it? This road is well quiet. No one down here. Good for a, good for a walk. So that's jog. Let's keep going. Right, <laughs> we've done near enough three kilometre walk. We're actually well, we're on 2.92, but we also did the first bit to the uh, to the BP garage, and then that 2.92 is uh, after the BP garage. <sighs> so that was a bit of uh, walking jogging. It's fun. Now, I know what you're going to say. What do you do for a shower? You don't have a shower. I've got deodorant. I've got baby wipes. <laughs> it's what you call a trucker's wash. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go. <clears throat> I will see you in the morning because we're going to we're going to finish this video off with the final delivery. We're going to get this trailer empty before we carry on. But um, yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of fitness in the morning. If I remember, I might do a time lapse in the morning. It, sh it should be light, but I'll see if I can do a time lapse on the way because the roads are pretty nice on the way to Colmy. So I'll see you in the morning. See you in a bit. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm just filling up fuel, and I can tell you now for nothing, they are the world's slowest pumps. Jesus Christ. Let's get paper fuel. Right, good morning. Uh, we just filled up with fuel. World's slowest pumps going. Yes. And do you know what annoys me? Maybe it doesn't annoy you, but it annoys me. When the till isn't a self-checkout, but they still get you to scan your items, even though it's not a self-checkout. That annoys me. Do your job. That's what you're there for. Otherwise, I'll do it completely, and you'll be unemployed. Sorry. Someone has to say that. Say it. I'm... It's your job to scan. So scan. It's like um, it's like when they get when they ask you to bag it as well. It's like it's your job. You are. The clerk checkout. If you don't want to do your job, a computer will do it and you'll be unemployed. Anyway, sorry, a bit of a rant this morning. <laughs> uh, we've got a fuel, um, so let's crack on to Wales. I see you when we get there, see you in a bit. Right, they are being taken off. I believe we're nearly tipped actually. Uh, only one or two more left to come off, which is lovely. And from here, we've got to go to uh, Regent, I 
I think it's Regent Road in Liverpool. We've got to go to the docks. Um, I'm just trying to find out exactly which one I'm going to. But that is not going to be in this video. Uh, it might be the next one. So if you want to find out what I'm doing next, I think I'm picking up steel plates or something and taking them, bringing them back to Wales. Then tune in to the next video. But as for this one, we're done. We're finished. Finito. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Like I said, it was uh, three, I think it was three deliveries. Well, yeah, three deliveries, one collection. So we did yesterday. Um, and then did this one as well. So four, four deliveries, but you only saw three deliveries. So yeah, it's been, uh, we've been up against it. Traffic, man. Traffic has really caught us out um, over the last sort of 24 hours, 40 hours. This next job I'm supposed to do is supposed to be collected and delivered today. And again, I might be pushing it, trying to get it delivered, but we'll see what we can do. It's just the traffic. Traffic man is really, really messed us up and slowed us down. But hey ho, what can you do? What can you do? But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.